Here's hoping that spring has sprung. Hey vapors, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is all about the Sense Blazer 80 kit. <laughs> Alright guys, yes, today I'm looking at the Sense Blazer 80 kit, so let's just check out the kit and what it comes with. We have a little user's manual right on top. Ooh, it's actually bigger than I thought it was going to be. So here is the blazer, here is the sub o mini tank, an extra coil, and it looks like this will be the charge cord and maybe some extra pieces. So let's open her up and see what's inside. Oh yeah, I was right. So we have the charge cord, and then we have some extra O-rings. Here is the spare coil. It is a 0.2 ohm, best rated for 50 to 80 watts. Here is the tank it comes with. It is a 23 millimeter diameter, 3.6 mil capacity glass and stainless steel construction with a copper plated 510 connection. Dual adjustable airflow slots here on the bottom that are on a stopper. A Delrin removable drip tip, pretty wide bore. You can see the lock and unlock symbol. You just press down and turn to unlock it and it flips open like that and you can fill from either fill port and then you press it down and spin it back to lock it up. If you spin the base off, you can change out the coil it does come with one installed. The one installed is also a 0.2 ohm, best rated from 50 to 80 watts. They also have a 0.6 ceramic coil available for this, good for 50 to 100 watts. Also a 0.4 ohm coil, good from 50 to 100 watts. I'm gonna go ahead and fill this up and then show you guys the actual device. And I'm filling it up with this coconut H2O e-liquid that I found the other day from shijinvapor.com. It's so yummy if you like a refreshing coconut drink flavored vape. All right, here is the Sense Blazer. It has a large firing button, an OLED screen, two wattage up and wattage down buttons. It has this wheel, which is venting. On the back side, it says Sense, and then also some wheel venting again on this side with the charge port up at the top. Here is the bottom where the battery goes. So you just pull and flips up and the battery goes in there. There is a small indicator right there that the plus side goes in first. So you want the minus side touching this contact. And at the top we have the 510 connection, also copper plated. So I'm going to go ahead and put my 18650 battery in there. It does not come with one. And the tank on top. And there you go, there is the full Sense Blazer 80 kit all put together. The Blazer is a 91 millimeters by 4.5 millimeters by 28 millimeters. When the Blazer is on, it displays the wattage that you're in, the battery life, the ohms, and the voltage. It goes from 70 to 80 watts. You can change the watts in 0.1 increments with the up or down. And if you hold, it'll toggle through fast and it does not round robin. The minimum resistance that you can put on this device is 0.2 ohm. It does have temperature control from 200 degrees Fahrenheit to 600 degrees Fahrenheit and it supports Ni200 titanium stainless steel 316 heating elements. It's made of a zinc alloy construction and it does have some protection features. It will tell you when the atomizer is shorted, when there's no atomizer on here, it has a 10 second cutoff, short circuit protection and temperature alert, just to name a few. To change into temperature mode, you press the fire button three times. And then to switch between Fahrenheit and Celsius, you press the fire button twice. Three times changes it to TI, SS, and back to wattage. It does have a puff counter when you press the fire button. So let's go ahead and give it a vape. So I'm gonna start at 60 because I don't really like to vape at a higher wattage and let's try it out. Well, there was clouds, but I'm gonna take it up. I'm gonna take it to 75. So that's five below what it's best rated at. Of 
Clouds, bitch. Woo I'm pleasantly surprised that the vape is not hot at all. It definitely has two large airflow slots, so it helps keep the vape pretty cool, even at 75 wear. I know that's not a high number for everyone, but it's a high vaping number for me. Oh my goodness. So much vapor. So you can see that this is a great combo. I will leave a link below to this where you can get it for just about $60 to $65. If you've tried this kit, let me know down in the comments below what you think of it. I would love to hear from you. But that's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, give it a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe to this channel for more videos. But also don't forget to turn on the bell notifications because being a subscriber does not mean you're going to see the daily videos that I upload. Check the description box below for important links like where to get my favorite things like e-liquids, mods, etc. You can follow me on almost any social media site like Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, or Snapchat. All those social media links will be below as well. And one more thing before you go, if vaping is something you're passionate about, please consider joining Casa.org and fight for your right to vape. So as always, I'm Tia and thank you so much for watching.